happy holidays, everybody. I know it's that weird in between week between Christmas and um, New Year's that seems like um, not a wasted week, right? But this is the perfect week to kind of purge, get rid of shit we don't need anymore. And um, it's perfect that we are ending our, um, that we are ending our readings with the world card. And, you know, we've gone through this journey where we are, um, we're going through this journey where we've been, you know, we started with the fool. We are, um, you know, we've been learning and growing and getting all of these life lessons. And we went from, you know, our kind of youthful excitement of the full energy, connecting within, moving through, you know, the first times even where, um, the first times that we're, we're meeting people, we're in relationships with people, we're learning how we want to show up in the world, who we want to be. Um, we've had some, you know, lessons that about, about loss, about these cycles in our lives that, um, that we have to learn not just about loss, but moving on the other side, what the beauty is of what's on the other side when we accept and grow from, you know, no longer having certain things. Um, but the growth that comes afterwards from that, the growth that comes from knowing that you made it through, right? You made it to the other side. And so, you know, once we went through that journey, you know, then we got to a point where um, things started looking better. You know, we started getting into the energy of the sun where, you know, we've taken all of those lessons up to that point. And, you know, we've, we've turned it on ourselves. We've turned to a space where, like we get it now, we get that is our time. We get that, um, you know, we have to shine that we've made it through the good times, the bad times, you know, we're older now, we're wiser now. Right. And, um, you know, like I said, the sun is like, yes, here we are, it's happening. Um, but then we also came to and, and ended off, you know, last week with judgment. Right. And so, Judgment isn't the, the negative connotation of judgment that we normally think about. Um, I mean, it's that, right? We do have to kind of atone for things that we've done in our past, but it's also that opportunity um, to acknowledge what has happened and you know, fully embrace that we've learned these lessons, we've gone through all of these things, and now we're letting it go, right? so that we can be so much, you know, so much stronger, so much uh, wiser. And I'll just pull out, there it is, um, so that I can show you um, the judgment card. And, you know, judgment is really telling us, reminding us that we have to let go, right? We have to, we have to release all of this anxiety, all of the stress, all the things that aren't serving us, right? Stop hanging on to the things that we already told ourselves we let go, right? It's gone. It's over. We're in a new space. Those old worries and concerns don't affect us the same anymore. So don't try to go back for them. Um, and once you're able to do that and like burn that shit away, right? then you are able to emerge, right? You're able to be this phoenix rising, if you will, um, that has learned, has learned to just be wonderfully content in who she is and, um, and just be, right? Just be. And so that's where we left off last week. And then this week, is the culmination, the culmination of all of the end of this cycle, right? So everything is about these cycles. Again, I keep referring back to the conversation I had with my good friend Lisa, where we talked a lot about cycles, Dr. Ish and I spoke about it as well. And 
the end of this cycle, right? We started with the fool. The end of this cycle is the world card, right? And so you can see, you know, there's a lot of different symbols in this card, but you can see that like, she's just even bigger than the sun, even bigger than that energy of like, bam, I'm here, I'm shining. It's yes, I'm out here, but I'm so comfortable in being my complete self, in loving everything about myself, um, that it, you know, it just feels so amazing that, um, you know, this energy of the world card is, is just that it's the like, yes, you know, I, I get it now. I get that perfection isn't a necessity. I get that, you know, all that I am is enough, is more than enough. It's incredible, you know, um, and you also see the, you know, this wreath, which um, here isn't represented as a full circle, but normally is represented as a full circle, that we've come to the end of this cycle. So, you know, what do endings of cycles really indicate? Well, you know, yesterday, a few hours ago, was the full moon, right? Um, and that full moon is, is, you know, some might think of it as the end of that cycle, right? The end of that 28-day moon rotation. And it is about um, completions, right? And again, these lessons, you know, we go in and out of learning these lessons. It's not linear. It's not like, oh, you learn one exactly after the next, after the next, right? Um, and these cycles, even when we've completed something, like completion isn't the goal necessarily, right? Completion is learning the lesson and being able to then move on to the next, right? So we have lots of completions throughout our lives. And, you know, sometimes things end <clears throat> like we saw in either the death card or in the tower card. Sometimes endings happen where there isn't that same level of closure, right? Um, but it is an ending, right? It's an ending to make space for what's next, right? So the, the ending that you see in the world card is about you know, getting to this space where you have embraced all of these lessons, you have walked this path, and you have gotten to a space where, like, you're so good with it, right, that you're ready, you're ready to take all of this knowledge and wisdom that you've gained and move it forward to whatever's next, right. So, you know, I think that it's, um, and I didn't time this out, though, I mean, it worked out perfectly, that, um, you know, we're coming to an end, quote unquote, of a cycle, we're coming to the end of a year, right? Um, we're leaving 2020. And traditionally, you know, in January, we either make resolutions, or, you know, we minimally reflect on what we've done, what the last year provided, and how we want to move forward, right? And that's, <clears throat> if you could think about the lesson of the world card, as you're contemplating that, as you're reflecting that, right, over the next couple of days before the new year, if you can embrace this energy of the world, like, get to a space where you feel um, at ease with who you are, at ease with you know, what's happening in your life doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It's never going to be perfect, right? But it is about finding comfort in the fact that you have gained all of this knowledge and wisdom that you're able to now move forward into 2021, right? Um, it isn't about like, oh, what's my resolution for the year? And, you know, now I'm going to do things differently. And today's the day I'm going to, you know, eat better and go to the gym and all those things. It is a time now to reflect and in your strength, right? In the beauty of what you've made it through, especially in 2020, right? So that you are ready to start that whole cycle over again, right? Of course, my cards aren't in order. Um, so that you are ready to go right back to this beautiful energy of the fool, right? this energy of readiness, right? 
The Fool is all about, you know, being ready and willing to, you know, take that leap of faith, to try something new, to not be bogged down by all the shit that, you know, was hurtful or painful for us in the past. He's not bringing any of that, right? This energy of the fool is not bringing any of that stuff. It's just that new energy, right? It's, it's the beginning of a whole new cycle, right? So, you know, that's, you know, this is the, the beginning and the end, if you will, um, right now is getting to that place where we're ending, we're taking all of that wisdom of the, this path that we've already walked, of these lessons we've already learned, and using that knowledge, the goal is to use that knowledge to move forward into this next cycle, right? To start all over again. And, you know, I think, you know, within, you know, personally, within my business, like that's um, getting to that point where you're able to really embrace those lessons is, is so crucial. And it's something that, you know, even though I knew is something that even walking this path again with all of you and going through this all, you know, with you um, week by week and really trying to embrace these lessons more and more, even for me, it's like, yes, I'm at a space where I'm ready. I'm ready to take all these lessons, all the things that, you know, we were able to create together, you know, this year um, and, and move that, right, morph that, fully embrace the good, the bad, the ugly, and move that forward into something like totally, you know, totally new. Um, new in the sense of we're taking our old wisdom from the world and moving that into what's next. Maybe that's a better term, what's next, not new. And so, you know, even around here, um, so with this what's next, I've got you know, no spoilers today, but I will let you know that there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of updates, a lot of um, using that energy that we've, that wisdom that we've learned, wisdom is going to be a key word to remember there, um, that is a tiny spoiler, but using that wisdom um, as we move forward into the new year. So, um, you know, behind the scenes, I have been working on creating um, some some new ways to really connect um, more. I think 2021 is going to be um, a wonderful opportunity for us to um, stop focusing so much on, I don't want to say stop focusing on the tragedy of 2020, um, because there were a lot of lessons that we really had to learn and to get through. But this, this new energy, this what's next energy um, I believe is asking us to really find ways to not just raise our emotions, right? To, um, to, to learn how to feel better, do better, create spaces that feel more aligned with who we are. But, you know, I, I realized that part of the challenge is that a lot of us, um, and, you know, myself included, never really had that um, awareness, right? Never knew that you had a choice in how you feel and, and, and changing how you feel, even from moment to moment, right? I didn't know, and I believe that many of you maybe haven't been aware that, you know, you do have a choice. You do have a choice in every single moment to not just sit where you are emotionally if it doesn't feel good to you, right? There are things that you can do. There are ways that you can start to move yourself into better spaces. And it's not all about, you know, rainbows and butterflies and, oh, just positive thoughts and positive affirmations. It's, it's so much more than that, right? And so that really is going to be, you know, the focus around here. Um, for 2021 and you know i'll um, check back on friday so this friday which will technically be the first friday of 2021 um i will be talking a little bit about you know that shift in in you know what's next energy um and i would love especially within this group um 
you know, we're going to be doing a lot more specifically within this group um, to really provide resources. And so I'd love to hear from, you know, from all of you about, you know, what you might need, what you feel like um, would be helpful if, if you can name it, right? If you can't name what would be helpful, even just sharing kind of what you're going through, what, you know, what you need support around, even if you don't know what support looks like. Right, so I, I definitely encourage all of you to either share with me personally, share within the group. Again, this, you know, I consider this to be a very safe space. And, um, and I would love for you to feel comfortable enough to take that leap of faith and, uh, you know, ask for help, ask for support, give suggestions on, you know, what might be helpful for you or, or people around you so that you know we're constantly growing together um you know that would really mean a lot to me and i think to the group so um i'm gonna leave it there for today again um check back on friday um and uh, i will be talking a little bit about some of the changes some of the things that are coming um for next year and um and yeah, I mean, check check in there, get some updates. I hope you have a spectacular New Year's Eve. Make sure to stay safe. Um, and you know, if you're gonna be around folks, stay super safe and away from people. Um, and I will see you all on Friday. Stay magical.